Ja. Jeg lige stikker. Ja, og der er også øh, vatpinden og... We have arrived in Osaka. We have checked in. We have eaten a, at a cafe. Got some coffee and food. So I will show you our room like I have done in the other vlogs. So this is our door. And when you walk in, it's like this. So you have the mirror. And then you have our bathroom. It's like the other one in Kyoto. It's just as big. It's bathtub, sink, toilet. So pretty. I love that they do this. Razors, toothbrush, comb. Cotton round, I think they're called. Um, elastics. Like. Cotton buds, I think they're called. Glasses. Body soap, conditioner, shampoo. Towels, towels. So pretty. When, if you want to clean your shoes, something. Then there are TV table, something chair with a mirror. Very excited. And then the bed. And John. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the wall there are hangers. And this is quite nice that the buttons are on the side instead of here like the first place we were in Tokyo. So yeah. And we got us some suits again, like the first place. So nice. Shiro, we get up. Hello. Good morning. Oh, what did I do? Oh my god. Why is it? Me. Can you send here? And today I told you. So today, okay, it's like 6:30 or something in the morning. I'm so tired. Chris just braided my hair, and I have. We're ready. We are going to Universal Studio today. <laughs> well, um, so we got told that it's going to be a heat wave, so that's just great. <coughs> so we have uh, put on clothes that could cover up uh, some skin because it's going to be so hot. Yeah, we're going to Universal Studio, so that is what we're going to do all day. We have packed food and water, and I'm excited. I'm wearing my Harry Potter t-shirt, so I'm ready to go. Um, oh yeah, and like last week when we got here, there was like an earthquake here in Osaka where we are now, but it's okay. And there was a flood in Hiroshima, so that is why we're not going there. We were supposed to go yesterday, but again, we, we didn't want to travel three hours to get there to know we can't get into the museum as we planned to. We were in the Umara building, city view, something here in Osaka, uh, instead of Hiroshima and walked around and stuff like that. Checked into our hotel 
Um, so that is what we were doing yesterday instead of Hiroshima. So hopefully that will be a next time when we are in Japan so we can go to Hiroshima and hopefully there won't be a flood at that point. So I'm going to leave you to the footage now. <coughs>
So, we are leaving all of our today. We are packing and we are going to uh, where you can, where you can, I don't know. Uh, it's like a traditional Japanese place, hotel thingy. So we're going to stay there for one night and it's going to be awesome. We're not going to walk, be walking that much, which is okay with me right now. Because my feet and legs are feeling like jelly because we have walked at least 12,000 uh, steps every single day. I'm excited to relax for once and just walk around in a hotel with a bathrobe in some hot water. Mm. It's far away. It's like a four hour trip. Four hour, yeah. Far, four, four, four hour trip. It's on our way back to Tokyo where we're going to stay for the uh, last few days. <coughs> it's Friday and we are leaving Tuesday, which makes me sad. I'm excited to go back to Denmark where I don't sweat as much as much as I do over here because I have taken a shower every single day and that's not usual usual for me. I don't see anything. Hello. Hello. We're tired. It's like <coughs> we're tired. It's like eight in the morning. Ja, ja. Det er som Det er der også. Og vi er enige om, at den, der snorrøger, han får altså test det er så godt, at være en pose ris, det her. Det føles som om hovedpuderen, det var en pose ris. Taste test. Hovedpud. Det tror jeg, det er også bare det her. Så hvis du kunne kone vandpose, så er det ikke så godt. Kone vandpose. This is fucking weird. Nå, jamen skal vi ikke bare have taget de her tænkster på? Jo. Så af med bauser. Af med hosen. So every time you walk out your room, put on slippers. Så jeg kan gøre den der. Det er sådan en ny slippers dag. I know. Then we'll go to the bathroom. New slippers. New slippers. Why not? 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 Og så skal man drikke dem med sådan en straight face, som... Så du kan ikke lave... Ikke lave det. Må jeg ikke bare noget? Vi skal... Don't make me feel... Much more beautiful. Big engine, ja. 1.2 liters. Jeg sidder sådan der og tænker om... Vi er to... To døre og... Ja, to døre. Yder sådan noget. Det er der altid. Det er der ikke herovre. Hvad er det her? Det var det var det var så træt det var så træt det gjorde. Må jeg bede om søjen derovre lige nu? Hvad er det, du siger? Ja, det er lige siden. Har du betalt? Ja. Det sagde han også lige, da vi stod. Det sagde han også.
arrived in Tokyo a few hours ago and we have eaten a little bit and we're tired. I'm tired. So we got some like Italian food or something, some pizza. But we have just checked into this hotel. It's very, very nice. I really like this hotel. So I will give you a room tour like I always do. And then we are going to relax. Yeah, we're that tired. <laughs> so here is the door and then you walk in and see this to the left there's the bathroom it's, it's small but it's fine there's a bathtub I'm fine with that toilet mirror to towels <laughs> shampoo conditioner it's a yeah, it's it's a smaller top than the other ones, but it's fine. Oh, it was soon then. Okay. <laughs> Show head, sink, thingies, really nice. What I have wondered about is why it is this tall. It's like a step up. It's kind of weird. But. And then. You close the bathroom and then shoes, slippers, hangers, mirror and then we have the bed and John and the alarm clock and the wall. I really like this piece. It's really pretty. Yeah. TV, big table, kettle, cups down there and then a very nice chair you're loud and then this is cool this is like a mirror so cool I don't know they're all they're always so awkwardly happy in these commercials in Japan it's weird it's like a big size mirror is so nice. I have missed this kind of mirror <laughs> to do my makeup. The view is not that exciting and it's loud. It's okay. Tissue box, phone. The lights are kind of cool as well. So I don't know how much footage I have from the wild can stuffed up, but it was so nice. Um, one thing we didn't like was that we thought there was like dinner and breakfast included in the price, but there wasn't, so that was a little unexpected and um, not very cool. So we went to the supermarket and bought some breakfast and then for dinner we went to this traditional Japanese restaurant. It was very expensive, so we didn't eat that much, and then we just bought some snacks to the room and stayed up very late. And we enjoyed the hot springs a lot. So okay, but in this hotel, uh, there is free breakfast, and that is very nice because then we don't have to spend money. <laughs> Um, and we're going to stay here for the rest of the trip which is pretty nice because it's a kind of a big room compared to what we uh, have been used to so that's nice I'm happy I'm going to lay flat and relax maybe sleep I'm very tired and yeah. oh yeah we I haven't mentioned what hotels we stay at but this is the red roof inn in Kamata Kamata, something. Kamata. It's very nice in Tokyo. It's close to the airport, so it's like a half hour in, in the bus or something. So that's nice. That's only because we're going to uh, to the airport really early, like five in the morning, five a.m. Because we fly at eight a.m. It's okay. 
So, uh, I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the time, but I will insert it here now and maybe I will talk to you guys later and maybe I won't, I don't know. But I really really hope you have enjoyed this vlog and the rest of them I have done in the past week or something. Japan is awesome but so hot. I don't know if you can see it. It's so hot so don't go to Japan in the summertime if you're not used to heat. In Scandinavia you're not used to it. <laughs> just got home I changed into my kind of PJs I was in that dress right there um, we were out having sushi we were in like kind of a traditional Japanese sushi restaurant something something I have a picture of one set of sushi that we ordered the menu card was uh, in Japanese so we didn't understand anything so we just chose one and then for the second round we showed him a picture of what we wanted and then we went exploring a little bit because we knew there was a 7-eleven uh, nearby but then we saw a life market and then we heard some drums and music and there was like a small town yeah festival kind of uh, in the neighborhood where they were dancing and stuff it was so fun and it was like a food market and a thrift market something uh, second hand yeah and then we just went to the live market where we got some crisp chips <coughs> i'm obsessed. Oh, obsessed then we got some salt crisp and then we saw these watermelon gummies thingy i think it's gummies they're so good i want to taste those and then we got some sour gummies what's tv or a movie or something japanese game show 